A very good morning to all of you. Welcome to yet another Zoom call organized by Jungle Wells. Jungle Wells is an exclusive wildlife women group. We are into wildlife related activities, conservation and wildlife tours. Before we begin, I request all of you to turn off your cameras and switch off your microphones. If you have any questions for the guests, please type them in the chat box and we will address them after this talk. Also, if you want to receive any further communication from us about our event, we would like to introduce our speaker for today. Mr. Rajneesh Kumar Singh is an Indian Forest Service Officer of Madhya Pradesh, Kadar, presently working as a Deputy Director, Pench Tiger Reserve. In past 25 years of service in Forest Department, Madhya Pradesh, he has served in multiple areas, but majorly his tenure is in wildlife areas, namely Kanha, Pench, and Satpura Tiger Reserve. He is alumni of Wildlife Institute of India and CASPOS at Dehradun. His interest includes generating diverse livelihood opportunities for unemployed youth from the communities residing nearby wildlife areas, optimizing staff welfare activities through people participation and spreading awareness about wildlife conservation through innovative campaigns. Now, over to Himangi. Thank you so much, Limika. Uh, before uh, I begin, I would just uh, like to uh, inform this that Rajni sir is in the forest and the bandwidth can be an issue sometime, but uh, he's ensuring his level best to be, you know, uh, across and, you know, talk to us in the best possible this thing. So pardon if there is any issue with the bandwidth, he will resume again. If you cannot hear, you can just let me know in the chat box if you if he's not audible or something like that. Very, very good morning, Rajin sir. It is a pleasure to have you uh, on our platform. Uh, I got to recently meet you in Pench and uh, the short uh, span of time, you know, what we spoke, I was thoroughly impressed by all your activities and we would like to know more about it in this session. Uh, let's get uh, straight away to the first question. Um, can you share something about the Pench forests? Uh, so we know Pench is just not, a, not about the park, but overall it's topography, flora and fauna. So thank you, Jungle Bells. Thank you, Yamangi Ji and everyone, those who have joined. So first, uh, which you have already told that uh, we are at Katuria Gate and the connectivity is uh, always an issue inside the jungle but you also feel very connected with the nature. So I'm preferring the other connection, but uh, I have switched off my camera so that ki at least uh, voice should go smooth. So, so then you asked uh, this question about the uh, page. Uh, so page, everybody knows that, you know, few of the thing everybody knows that page has association with Mowgli. Page uh, is a, a very important place and uh, it's a tiger reserve. These are the basic things which I guess everyone knows. So uh, the, the, the most significant thing and the important thing about the page is its location. So if you will see uh, the, the Satpura Hills, which originates uh, from uh, Amarkantak and goes uh, through and through up till the Gujarat, Godra. So all the good forest uh, Madhya Pradesh has, half of it is in Satpura Hills. A lot of a good forest area of Maharashtra also falls uh, with the Satpura landscape. And that, that makes uh, the Satpura landscape to be very important, Satpura Mecca landscape to be very important for all kind of biodiversity conservation, including the tiger conservation. But uh, uh, also happening along with the uh, conservation, all these you know, development activities are also happening. And so our habitats are fragmenting. So if you will see what was happening 100 years before, so tigers, the, their gene was totally from Achanak Mark up till uh, Melghat also. And there are scientific evidences. Uh, one scientist, Mr. Sandeep Sarma, has done his you know, study along with his wife, Trisha. Both are wildlife biologists. 
and they have found that the genetic evidences indicate that it is there and few other studies are there. But tigers don't, uh, you know, crisscross this area in one go. And uh, so the gene, that's what I'm not, I'm not saying the tigers are dispersing. I'm using the scientific term genes are dispersing. So for gene pool dispersal, you need uh, these, you know, what to say, a kind of resting area or a stepping stone area. And that was the intent of this. But now from the stepping stone area, now page has come up as a source area. So the page population is uh, going recently. I come to know through a group of uh, people that one tiger of page is, uh, is spotted at Bhandara district. So it was in camera trap uh, in page. And now uh, it, it is uh, recorded in Bhandara. So all these animals are dispersing and page is now a source area. And this source area has multiple advantages, uh, you know, of being a very good wildlife habitat. So predominantly, it is a teak forest area. And uh, we have a good amount of teak forest, along with some of the miscellaneous forest areas are also there. And this teak forest also became very special and unique because if you go to Kanha or if you go to, to, to Bandhavgarh or other places, there you need to develop a big amount of grasslands. Whereas here in Pech, we have grassland just beneath the tree tree. So the grasslands are not only confined to open area, but in wooded area also we have a grassland. So the kind of complex it creates, the grass and the timber, uh, the wooded area, it's a very good wildlife habitat. So this is something very unique about, uh, you know, this uh, landscape. And uh, you must be aware about this Pech uh, river. Many people have this misnomer that uh, Pech river bisects the Madhya Pradesh page and Maharashtra page, which is not the case. Actually, the Pech River flows through the Madhya Pradesh uh, Pech Tiger Reserve and the, either side is for Pech Madhya Pradesh only. One side is Chinwara district, which is about 30% of the Pech Tiger Reserve and the remaining two-third area is uh, of the Simni district. Uh, comes to the, the type of uh, fauna we have. So we have everything which you found in uh, Central Indian landscape except for two species, uh, two major species. Uh, one is Barasinga, which we don't have. And one is the giant squirrel yet not been recorded from the forest of Page. But otherwise, they are in Sakura and they are in Kana, but not at Page. But barring these two, we have tigers, we have leopards, and we have you know, some charismatic animal like black panther also we have. And, uh, and all kinds of you know, herbivores, so we have blue bulls, we have sambar, we have uh, spotted deers, we have among the carnivores, we have uh, dog species like wolf, hyena, jackal, wild dogs, and you know, over 325 species of birds we have. So it's a, it's a quite of uh, mesmerizing forest it is. And if somebody wish to know more about the habitat, so they may ask even now, because already uh, this, you know, habitat thing is going on. So any of the audience willing to know something very specific about the habitat, I would love to answer it now. Those who've joined us on Facebook as well as on Zoom, uh, you're free to put in, as we, uh, sir is speaking, you're free to put in your questions. Uh, we, we will be more than happy to take it up in middle and you know it'll be relevant to answer it that, at that point of time. Yes, sir. And if there is no more question, then you can switch over to the next question which you have. Yes, till that time. Yes, sir. So uh, it is said that Penge is a very important hub in the respect to corridors of uh, wildlife in central Indian forests. So we've often heard, you know, while going to Penge also, we often observe now uh, it, it, those barricades that are made or the roads, you know, the highway has uh, been, you know, they're, they, they've constructed a lot more uh, in respect to uh, the animals crossing so it's a it's considered to be a major uh, corridor. So can you just throw uh, some light on this? Yeah. So as the the wildlife scientist always believes that uh, that the last tiger, if, if, even if God forbid, if he fails to protect the tigers in their habitat, the last habitat which will thrive will be the Sakura Mackal landscape. And you see, we have such a good number of tigers. If you will add on the very hard population and the, the, the Sakura population, Sakura Tiger Reserve, then Kanha, then uh, this uh, Page, then Taroba, 
then Nanjira, Navigao, Bor, everything put together, we have, I guess, uh, more than uh, one third or even more global population of the wild tigers. Yes. So, as I was telling, this uh, Kanha Page corridor uh, was the one of the first corridor which was studied, you know, in a scientific manner in 2006 by uh, IIFM and then WII also. And uh, that, that first time genetically and scientifically proven that the tiger's gene pool and wild animal gene pool is flowing between these two places. And later, now we have the camera trap evidences, now we have the radio collar uh, through the, uh, the radio collar also. So the tigers are moving, you know, from one place to another. And the, I mean, many of the corridor, I mean, rather all the corridor need to be conserved. But the first among the corridor which got conserved was this Kanha Page corridor. And uh, there is a highway, earlier the name was NH7, now it's NH44. It passes through the Kanha Page corridor and uh, the wildlife experts and the scientists realize that if the a kind of highway, it has been built, four lane, six lane highway, it will come into existence. This uh, connectivity will totally get disconnected and that will be a very detrimental for the long-term conservation of the, the wild animal. And you see the cost of uh, this, uh, uh, you know, spatial mitigation is close to 900 crores, which is a very huge amount. But uh, I'm very proud and I'm thankful to the, the policy makers and everyone, those who have taken this decision for the cause of the wildlife. So many times in India, we, we loosely say that, you know, our policy makers don't take uh, good care of the wildlife and they are always for development. But uh, when I'm sitting at Page, I see the other side of the story and 900 crore rupees invested just to ensure. And I, and uh, please forgive me if the cost is not correct because I haven't seen the, 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 the project yet, but it is somewhere between seven to 900 crore. So, but in either way, it's a big amount. So be it 700 crore, 900 crore. So, so if this much money invested for the, the safeguarding the corridor and all the new corridors are coming up. So, I mean, all the new development projects which are coming up, they are coming up with the mitigation measures which are essential for the gene pool dispersal of wild animals. So be it uh, the one uh, which is passing through uh, the Melghat and uh, between Sakura and all the other roads coming up. So, and, and Page is like, you know, very centrally placed. So our eastern side is Achanakmar and Kanha, and our western side is uh, Melghat and uh, uh, Satpura, and south of us is Nanjira and Taroba. So if you see the location of Page, it makes Page all very important. And we have, uh, you know, realized this almost two decades before, that Page also requires a huge, huge, you know, management intervention to ensure the, the corridor connectivity. And since then, a good number of officers, those who were posted here, they contributed. And we also got, you know, very good support from our head office. And that is the reason Page Tiger Reserve for past 10 years continuously, it is rated as the best tiger reserve, best managed tiger reserve by, by Government of India and NTCA. So 2010, 2014, and 2018, all these three years, we were rated as the best. And all, I mean, the corridor and the, the Page Tiger Reserve Put together, uh, it makes this a very important tiger conservation area. That's that's wonderful, sir. And I've just been there, so the management plus how you know uh, they also while entering the park, uh, the process, everything was really commendable. Very, um, I would say, disciplined for that matter, and very easy going uh, for the tourist also. So it is it it is indeed and not to mention about the corridor thing we've seen while going to pench so it is it's a it's a wonderfully done and taken up so uh, that's that's a very good thing uh, next we move so uh, what would we what would you say as challenges in uh, front of pench forest uh, currently that you're uh, facing okay so uh, there are a couple of challenges and uh, obviously, there has to be a couple of challenges because uh, nothing in this planet is, uh, you know, there yes. without any challenges. There is no smooth cakewalk for anything. So, is page is no different. And uh, so, the biggest challenge, what I see, is also in a way, it is biggest asset also. 
is the community residing nearby. So if I talk about page, uh, in the buffer area of page, we have the core area is fully inviolate. We don't have a single village inside the core area, but uh, like the buffer area are multipurpose use area and we have uh, 107 uh, good villages in the buffer area. And the population estimated is something like, you know, 66,000 of the last uh, Jangana. And uh, we have about 40,000 plus cattle around us. And they at times, uh, you know, uh, became a big challenge for us. Because you see, by default, by design, these tiger reserves are the area deep inside the, the jungles. And we don't have any rail connectivity because of uh, there is jungle all around. So no industries can come. So the job opportunities are very less. And job opportunity and, and this 66,000 population earlier, they were depending a lot upon this forest. Definitely, this forest cannot sustain that much youth population, but for their whatever small need, they were dependent upon this forest area. Now they are sacrificing their those you know rights. And uh, but so so to provide them alternate uh, livelihood, to provide yes. them a decent living, to provide them uh, a way out. Uh, through which they can survive and sustain without uh, depending uh, or getting their livelihood from the forest is, yeah. I guess, the biggest, uh, you know, challenge uh, for me, I feel, as a manager. Okay. The second uh, big challenge, uh, I feel, is protection. Mm -hmm. So, uh, my, uh, you know, my boss, present boss also, and he was my field director, Mr. Jagdeer Singh Chauhan, now he's the chief pilot warden. I always remember his one phrase, uh, protection is paramount. So for a wildlife manager, nothing comes before uh, protection. So, so uh, thankfully, we don't have uh, any organized, uh, you know, crime uh, happening for past couple of years. And our STSF uh, Tiger Force has done exemplary job uh, in Madhya Pradesh. So thankfully, I mean, just to give you some statistics, in a span of five, six years, they have caught more than 600 offenders from across the India, not only from Madhya Pradesh. Oh, okay. So, okay. so they were not into cutting uh, somebody, you know, petty poacher only. They were, Correct. they were, you know, destroying the trade links. So right. they have caught poachers from as far as, you know, Tamil Nadu to as far as uh, Mizoram. So, okay. I mean, the STSF has done uh, a very good job. So we don't have, you know, that type of poaching. But it's still uh, two, three major issues is still uh, the jungles of Madhya Pradesh and Page is facing. And the biggest yes. among them is the electrocution. Yes. Because uh, now this habit uh, among villagers is quite common that they put uh, live naked wire along their right. farmland. The main intent of uh, them is to protect their farmland from the crop raiding animal. But at times uh, following the zero crop raiding animal, Tiger or leopard also come, so they also die. So I think right. so we do a lot of patrolling during the night to ensure okay. that there should not be any, uh, you know, uh, misuse of power line for yeah. uh, laying this naked wire. But uh, right. the area is vast, and the kind right. of manpower we have uh, at times uh, we fail to reach out to certain areas, and mm -hmm. uh, certain things happen. So that is protection is the challenge right. number two for me. And then comes the third biggest challenge is motiv keeping the motivation of my staff on. Because you yes, see sir. my staff living inside the forest day in, day night. And uh, all 365 days, barring four days in a month of leave the, which they get. So, uh, just imagine karoki koi karamchari family se dur hai with very meager salary. So like, you know, I have something like 750 to 800 staff. Yes. And out of that, uh, some 600 uh, survives only on 9,000 rupees a month. Oh, so, okay. To maintain their motivation is the biggest challenge. So, if you'll ask me, these are the three biggest challenges for wildlife managers in page. And okay. uh, the rest all is quite manageable. Sometimes, <clears throat> you know, people feel tourism is also a challenge. But I yes. always see tourism as an asset. And... Uh, I'm just seeing there is a question in chat box also regarding yes. the, the guides. Mr. Sanjay has asked this question that Correct. what the forest department is taking to train guides 
So uh, otherwise, largely because I worked in other areas also, but yes. Jaipur is such a poor country in paints. Otherwise, they are very well behaved. And uh, I think most of our audience must have seen yesterday's video of uh, those five tiger cubs. And you Correct. can see how far the the vehicles are, you know, standing from the tiger. Nobody is venturing into the tiger and uh, maintaining Correct. the distance. So Correct. by and large, the situation is well under control. But at times, tourists get excited. Our guides and drivers are also get excited. But don't we think we also get excited? Yes. In my twenty-five years of service, I must have had seen tigers for thousand times. <laughs> But every yes. time seeing a tiger will bring a lot of you know excitement. <laughs> you know, Absolutely. Yes. It's very different. Hai. So it's a challenge. But yes. uh, I can uh, say with uh, all my diligence and authority that uh, tourists are always and always are set for paint, uh, and barring very few sporadic incidences. I never come across an incident where I have to feel that to uh, the police star border on us. Correct, correct, correct. So, sir, when you were mentioning about those challenges and uh, to support your staff, those who stay inside the forest, when I was having a word with you in Pench itself, you mentioned that uh, you are having a lot of initiatives to keep them motivated. You know, you you yourself have come up with a lot of uh, like staying with uh, someone, a forest guard inside, and you know. getting to know so would you like to share one of one or two initiatives that you're doing already doing for uh-huh. your employees so i'll initiate i'll uh, discuss two initiatives yes one uh, we have already done and one we'll be doing okay. uh, very soon so uh, like you know one of the biggest challenge i feel is whenever i see my forest guards they feel that you know their their job is not that you know glamorous और दे आर नॉट डूइंग अ ग्रेट कंट्रीब्यूशन सो एक गार्ड ने बोला कि सर मेरे बच्चे बोलते हैं पापा आप जंगल जाते हो जंगल आते हो करते क्या हो सो यू नो एट टाइम्स योर फैमिली इज आल्सो अनएबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड दे कैन नॉट ब्रिंग देयर फैमिली इन एंड यू नो स्टे कि देखो मैं क्या करता हूं सो फॉर ऑल द मोस्ट ऑफ द जॉब प्रोफाइल अ बैंक ऑफिसर कैन वेरी वेल टेक यू नो हिज सन और डॉटर वंस टू द बैंक ही लुक सी व्हाट पापा एंड हिज फ्रेंड डू और मामा एंड यू नो हर कोलीग्स डू दैट इज नॉट द केस विद द अस so then uh, uh we we thought of doing something uh so we conceptualized a documentary making competition uh we named it a day in life of one rakshak and uh, so we had two three objectives one objective was that people in general people also don't know because whenever they come to the park guide is only interface they come you know across they really don't know what and how the guard does the patrolling and how a manager do their management duty mm-hmm. so this was one the second was the motivation and right. third we want to make at least few people realize how difficult it is so we organized right. this competition uh, this year only during the summer months may and june and we requested wildlife filmmaker from across uh, india to come yes. stay 48 hours with my forest guards in his mm-hmm. camp and mm-hmm. or her camp Yeah. and you document whatever you can document you are allowed to you know roam with him inside the jungle outside wherever whatever he will be doing so you will hmm. be doing along and hmm. then come up with a just 3 minute film yeah. and uh, we got 16 budding film makers from across the india oh wow and the biggest uh, advantage now i see all my forest guard they are now very excited because hmm. they are my heroes they are everybody's hero the kind of job they are doing i'm telling you with all the due respect to everyone the army officials and the 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 degree of hardness is much higher when right. a army jawan goes for a patrolling comes back he get his meal ready so there is a kitchen who make food for them whereas my guard whenever he goes to jungle comes after patrolling then he has to cook his meal cook him correct so it's it's very difficult he never remain in group only two three or maximum four people at a place so right you know, a lot of psychological uh, issues are also related with that yes absolutely so, so yes with, with with all these uh, yes. so after the film now everybody is feeling like a hero recently yeah. we have a movie <laughs> festival and we have shown those three films correct by these three forest guard yes i invited them to come all the kids from across madhya pradesh they have given okay. them a standing ovation and clapping and because oh. there was a lady forest guard also even i'll request all your you know uh, participants 
if they can come to the NP Tiger Foundation Society YouTube page and the life of Van Rakshak, you will be yeah. able to see films. All are very good. But if you have some time issue, so at least watch the number one, two, three, the, the, the one which are very good. And right. I also, because I know you are based out of Pune. And the winner yes. is also from Pune only one, budding filmmaker, Rohan. Okay. Okay. Only, uh, one okay. Day. okay. And, uh, so, so this is one initiative. Then we realize yes. that, you know, documentary has its own limitations. Right. So now uh, my head office has given me permission to do another activity. Mm -hmm. So it will be like covering more number of my staff. We are hoping to reach out to 100 of the 600 staff. And we'll right. be asking the storytellers, the writers. Yes. They can come and stay 48 hours with my staff. They can also have his phone number later on also. They can interact. And yeah. they, they'll come up with a short story. Okay. Of one incident in his life or maybe his journey, whatever. Yes. And uh, we have already finalized the title of the book, which will be the outcome of this. Yes. Wale, the stories from Jungle. So yes. That is the norm of that competition. So through you, uh, I would like to invite everybody who is into you know writing stories and all. Uh, soon we'll be launching this, uh, and uh, you can uh, come for the two-day stay at Page and interact with one of the staff, and then send your story. We'll not only give the prizes to the winner, but the, the a few good uh, you know stories will also come up as a book. So Correct. these are the few initiatives we are doing. Also. Wonderful. Uh, one thing uh, which, uh, uh, you know, your people can help me to establish my connect with the, you know, all of them are professionals through your uh, company CSR also. And that some is. CSR um, should must come to areas like Page and other wilderness area. Right, so that is right. That's contribution you can Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Correct, correct, correct. So I would like to uh, also mention here and tell the audience also that uh, when we met you, uh, you were staying inside the park and uh, I was quite surprised when you said that I I do um, have my dinner with one of the uh, my forest people inside the park who, you know, they have, uh, you know, those who stay inside the park also. So that was also very creditable and I think it's quite motivating for them and they, uh, they since you, you, you make yourself as a part of them. So I think that uh, that gives them a feeling that, you know, uh, you are also with them, guys. So I think that was a very yeah, nice thing. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I am just one of them. Yes. Only yes, thing, sir. like, you know, anything, every, everyone has a role. So my Correct. role is as a deputy director. But uh, I am just one of those, you know, 800 people. And Correct. without them, neither there will be page nor there will be a deputy director. Absolutely. So the, the most key and crucial element of this system is my daily yeah. wages people, my forest guard. And uh, I am thankful to them that they allowed me to have me with them. <laughs> yes. and, uh, yesterday also I was in one of the forest camp having my dinner. Okay. Uh, in a, you know, uh, so it is always a pleasure and it's a luxury for the city people going Correct. inside the jungle and having meal in middle of nowhere. Yeah, but right. uh, and it's a luxury for me also to be very honest i'm also from indore so with all those urban mindset but because of the my job i had this opportunity and my my, yeah, my right. staff is kind enough to host me you know for quite often right right that's great uh let's move on to the next question uh tiger sighting is a major issue in wildlife tourism uh we would like your views in this aspect because whenever I also go, I've been going for the last 10 years. And like you said, every time there is a lot of anxiety, there is, uh, you know, any person who says, they may just jungle, dekh ne aaya hu, you know, you believe to some extent, but that's not the truth. They would want to see a tiger and go back or they are uh, not very uh, happy if they, you know, they, it, it just goes dry. So what would be your views on this? So... Uh... Firstly, I always say, we have named this place as a Page Tiger Reserve. Correct. So obviously, because the name is Page Tiger Reserve, everybody will expect to spot a tiger. Right. Had the name been Page Nature Reserve, nobody would ask for a tiger. Nobody. Or Page Leopard Reserve. So people go to Maharashtra, Jalna, or that, you know, outside the Jaipur, it's a leopard area. So nobody right. asks that, I want to see tiger. So it's there. And... I don't have any bad feeling for the people, those who want to see tiger. 
Right. Uh, there is no harm in that. Yes. What is more problematic or what is problematic at times when you don't manage to spot a tiger, you say that you don't see anything. So that, that I feel is failure of we all that we fail to explain him that there are many things that you see but the tiger doesn't see. You know that, you know, the, the phrase has to be I've seen multiple things except for tiger. But right. saying that I haven't seen anything is very disrespectful of all the other you know, animals. And we keep on trying this uh, for uh, many, many years, trying to explain to our guides, trying to explain to the tourists whenever we get chance to interact with them. And uh, But you know, that craze is there. And as I said, we all are, uh, you know, culprit in some or other way that we all want to see tiger. And you very rightly said, whenever somebody says, no, no, I'm going to enjoy the jungle. So we feel okay, the tiger may be kega. Okay. So it is very modest for them that they are saying this. But yeah, yes. this is a big challenge. Correct, correct. Yeah, that's true. Uh I would like to know what MP Forest is doing for tourism as well as local life's uh, improvement. So how is the MP Forest Department helping out in this a local uh, person's life? So uh, Again, uh, you know, I'll, I'll uh, tell you my journey of being in forest department. So I joined uh, long back in 97 and right. we used to find number of things, patrolling bhi kar rahe hai, aur hum, uh, timber production bhi kar rahe hai. Then hmm. slowly I get into wildlife and hmm. uh, 2006 onward, so I haven't done anything except for, uh, you know, working in the wildlife areas or the wildlife headquarters right. and the officers whom I, uh, you know, uh, worked with my bosses mm. and my colleagues mm. also, some of them, slowly we realize we can manage the water hole, we can manage the the grassland, we can manage a number of things, we can even do patrolling. But yeah. until unless the communities will be not uh, taken care uh, nicely, all mm. this will be futile. Absolutely. And uh, when uh, some uh, eight years, nine years before, I was... Uh, my, for my second tenure, I was in Kana. Mm. And again, uh, Mr. Jasbir Singh Chauhan was uh, my field director. So there we started uh, realizing that we must do something fast. And then uh, during that time with an organization called Pratham, we okay. started a hospitality training center. Also, we started uh, uh, a, a security guard training center and all those initiatives. And the results were overwhelming. Not only it, uh, you know, changed the life of that individual, right. but uh, the respect of forest guards and forest as an institution also uh, increased hugely in the village area. Because then, we go to the village and we have to go to the village and we have to go to the village. You know, many of, uh, at least one I know who got later on job at uh, Dubai. Okay. So, for, for somebody from a tribal village, uh, working at Dubai is like, you know, life transforming. And uh, right. we also understand that their role model cannot be from the city area. So Correct. when we were kids, uh, Kiran Bedi ji was our role model, but not for the village yes. folk. Okay. Right. So so these boys and girls, those who got job and those who are, uh, you know, doing a decent living, supporting their family, mm. are the role model for mm. the second. So they also got, mm. you know, towards all these good things. Correct. So here, correct, now correct. In page, here now in page, we are right. doing a couple of things. So one, okay. as I said, uh, we have tied up with the uh, LNT, and LNT has yeah. started a training center at a place called Lucknadon nearby, which is not only okay. serving to the page, but across okay. the uh, for the forest uh, dwelling people, they can send their mm. boys and girls to this training center. And LNT is absorbing hmm. them uh, with a price bracket of 12 to 15,000 rupees. Then again, okay. we have started uh, because Pratham has a training center in Maharashtra side place called Sillari in Page Maharashtra. So we had a word Sillari. with the Page Maharashtra management. And now a uh, few of boys and girls, they are undergoing training there in the hospitality hmm. sector. Then Chinwara, hmm. we have uh, Ashok Leland has a driving, heavy vehicle driving okay. training center. So our okay. boys and girls will train there and they, now they are working with the heavy uh, you know, vehicles. Okay. And uh, then while interacting with them, I realized two very interesting observations. 
Okay. Some of the boys and girls, they come up uh, to us and they say, sir, we don't have to do this work. We have to open the salon. Or the girls okay. come to us, they say, sir, we have to open the beauty parlor. So I was okay. skeptical. I said, who will go to the beauty parlor in the village? But they were uh-huh. very confident. And uh, with the support from the MP Tiger Foundation Society, right. uh, we got some small fund. And uh, two months before we organized this uh, training for, for boys, the hair salon, and the girls beautician and i'll tell you all of them are now working so they may be earning just 100 or 200 rupees a day but just think of a village girl sitting in her house is you know if making 3000 rupees 4000 rupees a month it is a big support to her family and uh, then also we come across uh, boys and girls those who said ki sir hum to itne padhe likhe hain i come across boys who got scored 90 percent in 10th standard so we realize uh, we did, they deserve a better you know, livelihood. So right now we are uh, running three coaching classes for various government uh, you know, sectors uh, and exams. So right now a forest guard exam is about to uh, happen in two, three months. So we have a coaching class, then the jail prahari or the uh, police constable, all these for which you don't require very higher education. Only the 10th uh, is the basic qualification needed. So we are doing that. We have also started sewing course. And we have trained over 150 uh, women and girls. And we are also about to launch a souvenir made by these you know, women. So the ladies' t-shirts and uh, ladies' shirts, all, all those stuff. So we are already on it. So these are the various things. So there cannot be one solution. Everybody will not going to work you know, in one sector. They'll be doing in different sector. So we are yes. we are on it. And okay. uh, anytime anybody come with a request, we think of and we try to get this happen. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's wonderful. There is uh, Mr. Allah from the our audience who is asking what kind of insurance cover is available to the guards, uh, whether insurance companies can be approached to provide special cover to forest guards in terms of death or partial disability of guards during their official duties. Good question, Allah. Thank you so much. It's actually a actually good question. Even I saw this question and I was very keen to answer on this. So I'll tell you again, uh, Kanha is the learning ground for uh, everyone, for me also, because I've worked for very long there. And Kanha, with the IFCO Tokyo General Insurance and another organization, Adijan Foundation, they have, uh, you know, customized a uh, very good insurance, medical insurance cover for all our guards. But what happened over the period of time, we realized despite all that, you know, waivers which they have given, we were giving the premium to be 10 lakhs rupees a uh, year. And the medical bill, despite all those, you know, so all the diseases were included from the day one, even the pre-existing diseases were included. So all those, you know, otherwise conditions were waived off by the Eco Tokyo. But even then, the premium was coming to be 10 lakhs. And everybody who has any kind of, you know, issue, they get operated and everything. And first year, we can get reimbursement of 7.5 lakhs. Next year, the reimbursement was close to 4.5 lakhs. So then the then Kana management realized that uh, instead of this. So now Kana has this arrangement. They have tied up with the Nagpur hospital and they are doing this. This and also we are also trying to replicate at pain. But we don't have enough of fund. And uh, once we'll be having a, a fund available, which we are trying to achieve through our souvenir shop and maybe some donations also, then we will try to tie up with the hospital at Nagpur, which is very close otherwise. And uh, the field director can make payment of whatever, like, you know, the medical issues are there. Up now comes the, the health insurance uh, at the uh, incidence of death and all. So the government of Madhya Pradesh has good schemes to take care of all that. So, but interestingly, the death rates are not as high as everybody presumes. I think we are the healthier people. And uh, so thankfully, like, you know, Page, uh, Page has become National Park since 83. There is not a single death by any wild animal attack or anything like that in, you know, all these years. Tanha is even older. There may be just two, three incidences, but whenever such thing happened, uh, they got a very good support from our worker society and the government mechanism is there. Sometimes WWF, WTI, they also help a lot. So, so those, those cushions are there. Yeah, 
Yes, sir. So I think that's one more question from uh, Rohan. Uh, what precautions are being taken for tiger census after death of a guard in TATR in census? Yeah, yeah. correct. So, uh, Rohan, I hope you are the same Rohan who won the first prize. So, congratulations uh, to you once again. But if you're not, then I'll only give the answer of this question. So, uh, you <laughs> see, precautions are always and always being taken during the all India Tiger estimation or otherwise also. Because that is what our training is all about. Because my forest guard need to walk almost 10 to 15 kilometer on daily basis on foot. Without all kind of precautions, that is not possible. Whatever has happened in Taroba is one unfortunate incident. I will give you just some statistics. In Madhya Pradesh alone, we have about 8,852 forest beef where we do all India tiger estimation. You multiply that by, say, 15 kilometers in three days. So, so, so uh, that is the kind of, you know, mammoth task it is. But no such incidents has happened. But if you will see the number of accidents happening, even we are, you know, for about a half an hour, we are on this talk. There must be some casualties on the road. So despite all the efforts, something has happened. It is very sad and sorrow. But I guess in Taroba and in Paint and all across Madhya Pradesh and India, we all take a good precaution. That is why, otherwise, just imagine a situation in uh, Paint. We have over 70 tigers. And my 700 staff walking daily. There must be double the number of leopards. So daily, there will be one casualty if we are not careful and uh, uh, properly trained. So, but I really feel or unfortunate what has happened at Taloba uh, should have not happened. It was just an accident. Yes, that's true. Uh, Asha, someone is asking about the ticket. I'll take that question later on. Uh, um, yeah. So, uh, what is the most, up, as per you, I mean, you've covered quite a bit, you know, from what we started, but what is the import, most important task for a wildlife manager in Pench and otherwise in general? What do you feel? So, two things only. And um, if you'll ask me two more things, one is the community, one is the protection. These are the two most important tasks uh, for me. So you see, uh, we have to do patrolling day and night. So I'll tell you the routine of my forest guard. So he has to wake up early in the morning. He has to go early in the morning to check all the water hole nearby. And, you know, for, for the animal signs and if there is any, you know, signs of uh, intrusion. And then he comes back. Then throughout the year, some kind of management activity going on. So, so uh, somebody is going for the road repairs sometimes, somebody for the fire line cutting and all. Sometimes some, you know, a pond is being deepening, work is going on. So again, he has to go. Evening again, he has to go for patrolling. Sometimes during the full moon night, he has to go for whole night patrolling. So patrolling is the biggest task for me. But patrolling alone will not save the jungle. Jungle will be saved and the wildlife and wilderness will be saved only when every single individual from the community will be with you. So we keep on interacting with community, try to understand their requirement, try to, you know, nullify their grievance. Even I'm talking with you, my field director has been to a place called Khapa because there was a, a human death incident a few years, a few months before, and again, the tiger being seen, so he has to rush. So, you know, we have to mitigate the conflict uh, in a proactive manner. But whenever any conflict happened, we need to, you know, take care of uh, that conflict as a reactive manner also. So I think these two th things are the biggest challenge for wildlife manager at Page and uh, otherwise also. Yes, that's that's also that's good to hear, and that's quite an um, patrolling. You know, to actually oversee all this is also very very important and crucial responsibility yeah. in itself. Yes. A lot of us want to know what is what would be the difference between a project tiger and other forests. And I personally wanted to ask you that uh, it's right now it's Pench Tiger Reserve. So would it be beneficial to uh, 
convert this or I don't know the right form to say, but into a conservation uh, project or something like that. So it's a very simple question, but uh, the answer is quite complex and very important. I'm, yes. I'm really thankful yes. that you have asked this. First, okay. to understand how these you know areas been named. So the the idea behind nomenclature. So in in uh, in India, all these national park sanctuary they've been governed by an act called Wildlife Protection Act. Okay, so Wildlife Protection Act 1972, and uh, so if you will read the act, there are provisions of various type of area. So one is the national park, then uh, one is the sanctuary. Then one is the conservation reserve and one is the community reserve. So these four areas are known as the protected area. So generic name is protected area. So when I'm saying I'm going to a protected area, I may be going to a national park, I may be going to a, a century, I may be going to conservation reserve, I may be going to a community reserve. So but initially when the, 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 the act come into existence, only the national park and century were there. Initially the idea was the most precious wildlife area should be made a national park. The lesser one would make century. So that was the idea in 72. Later we realized the century are no lesser form. So now the centuries are also being regulated in a way the, the national park being regulated. And they are also being, you know, village relocation going on. It was earlier in 1972, grazing and all was allowed inside the century. Now nobody allows. So that is there. But later we realized that in 2006, uh, it came into the uh, uh, amendment of 2006, that outside the national parks and century, there are areas which are very precious. So those areas can be of government ownership or of private or community ownership. So they come up with the nomenclature of conservation reserve for area which are of government ownership, but not the forest area. Because forest area, if you make national park, it is very important. Hito. So Harike Baraj is Punjab. Mein. Harike Baraj is a wo revenue department, ka, irrigation department ka area, hai, but lot many birds come. So they named it Conservation Reserve. Okay, but if you will go to Northeast, the government holding of forest land is very less. Most of the land owned by the community. So they named it Community Reserve. So these are the four nomenclature. Then in 73, when the concept of Project Tiger come into existence, they realize that we need to conserve the tiger, not because tiger is something superior form of animal, but tiger is more like a symbolism. Like, aapne tiger ko bachaya, to aapko uska previs bachana hoga. Previs bachaya to grassland bachana hoga, grassland bachaya to land bachana hoga, pani bachana hoga. So just by using one term ki we are protecting tiger, actually we are conserving the whole ecosystem. And that is the reason uh, the Tiger Reserve come into existence. It started with nine Tiger Reserve. Now we have 53 Tiger Reserve. And uh, the number is, you know, ever increasing. The idea is to conserve everything. The name is Tiger Reserve. So when we were talking about the tourism, why we named the page Tiger Reserve? Are we not conserving the other species? We are conserving everything. It's not like you have Tiger Reserve, hai, aap yadi chital ko poach kar loge, hum chhod denge. So right. tiger So right. these are the names. Up now comes the other forest. Okay. So the area which are neither tiger reserve nor uh, uh, you know uh, national park or century also. So in terms of the management, each forest has a management focus. So in a wildlife area, we see what species are there, and the management is focused towards them. So, page the management focus is on the tiger ecosystem. Kanha, the management focus is not on tiger but on Barasinga conservation because that is the prime uh, habitat. Uh, if you go to Sardarpur, the focus is uh, lesser florican. If you go to Chambal Century, the focus is Ghadia. But we are naming a species, but we are conserving everything within that you know, premises. Whereas if you go to the other forest area, I'm, you know, now I'm not talking about National Park or Century, normal forest area. You know, as we in, normally we call territorial forest area or corporation forest area. So there the focus is on timber production. But now slowly everybody has realized timber has substituted 
but oxygen don't have any substitute so slowly we are you know regressing from the very aggressive timber production and sometime many of the the old officers or the old timers they say ki now your production has reduced to 10% or 15% only so because we know these jungles are more precious to produce oxygen they are more produced to conserve soil and water so slowly we are regressing but uh, in terms of management my another uh, previous boss mr jitain agarwal uh, he was my chief wildlife warden and he always used to say ki it's a tiger reserve or non tiger reserve we we know animal don't know animal respond to your management so if you will be managing it uh, uh, in a way which is suitable to being a tiger reserve so tiger will thrive so the good example is balaghat forest area all territorial forest now we have about 60 tigers there devas is merely a small sanctuary of 75 square kilometer it's not a tiger reserve so over 10 tigers are there shadow division has good number of tigers bhopal bhopal city has about 20 tigers so so tigers respond to management they don't respond to name ki we have named it a tiger reserve so chalo ab let's go to bhopal now bhopal is a tiger reserve no if right. bhopal has a protected forest good jungle water everything they will start thriving correct correct that's that's really a good insight because i don't think any of us knew the different classification and why they have been called you know similarly so there's one uh, sir question from his name is wildlife bench so i will refer to that itself he says respected dd sir uh, I, I really, that. so somebody yes. somebody using the page official logo and uh, you know asking i'm really happy <laughs> that you okay. know some of my people also joined in yes and, uh, so in ka jo prashn hai main aapko i'll explain yes. so as i was telling page tiger reserve has a tourism four area tourism zone partly it is on the chhindwara district side and major portion is in sibni district side and we have three gates one gate is known as a turiya gate where most of the hotels are there most of the vehicle enter from turiya gate we have a very few hotel on the karmajeri side we have our rest house and two hotels little away from the jungle or maybe three hotels away from the jungle most of the guest those who enter from karmajeri they enter from that gate and the third gate is a jantara gate which is in chinwada district side and there is as if now only one hotel is there and but few tourists come to jantara side also and what was the practice in good old time that people used and but the jungle is one composite it is not like kanha where mukhi zone is different from kisli zone and kisli is from kanha and kanha is from sarhi it's not like that so even if you are entering from jantara karmajeri or turiya you will be exploring the same forest okay everybody will come to alikatta for their breakfast so what uh, the, the the grievance of uh, this gentleman is that uh, because now there is another big dam being constructed on the upper side it's a machagora dam and they keep on releasing the water so earlier also there was no bridge but the tourists used to cross the river stream only because by the month of december or january it was all dry river bed and you can easily cross the river now the you cannot come so recently uh, gentlemen myself and my field director we both were there at jamtara we had a meeting and what for the time being till a new bridge being constructed which will be a costly affair maybe 2 3 crore rupees and you know 2 3 crore just for a dam for five vehicle is not a viable proposition what we have suggested those who are willing to explore the jamtara side and then they want to come out and enter we will allow them okay so but uh, and and this system can work easily and those uh, who want to remain in jantara side they can remain in jantara side also so keeping the physical condition of the the river and the land only these two things uh, which uh, the park management can offer as if now but hopefully okay. um, a new bridge will get constructed then you can you know cross through yes yes thank you so much sir i as a part of jungle bells and since it's you know we are we are it's a women's venture but we believe in awareness that's how this webinar you know um, we conduct on a regular basis we also believe uh, we've seen in tagoba that a lot of uh, fee, uh, women guides 
are there, you know, around almost 2021. 20, We've met up with them similar in Penge Forest, also the Tiger Reserve. This time I saw a lot of women uh, guides uh, helping out in um, the safaris and this. So it was very really glad. So I, we would definitely like to see this number going up and uh, they also get uh, the rightful opportunity, you know, and uh, because they are also committed in a duly uh, similar way. So uh, it was good to see a lot of women guides during uh, my recent visit. So that's what I just wanted to let you know. It's amazing. No, uh, really, thank you uh, that uh, you noticed that. Yes. So Madhya Pradesh, uh, I think three parts where I have worked now, slowly the women guide number is increasing. And uh, so Kana has a good number of women guides. Page also has, and Sakura also has. And women are coming into every walk of life. If you talk about the forest department, 20 years down the line only, the senior lady officers were there. Now we have forest guards. Now we have, you know, range officers. Now we have ACFs, senior officers. Anyway, they were there since the Gopa Pande Madam joined the department way back in 1981. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, yes. So, so this is a very welcoming and happy trend. Uh, hopefully this yes. will grow. Yes. Yes. So one last question from my side. Uh, how has Jungle Bells, we are based out of Pune, but we have a presence in Pan India and uh, how can we help in, uh, you know, conservation activities or any kind of activities for Pench? So if you can just throw a light, the urban people plus, you know, typically Pune, Mumbai and Bangalore who often visit. Oh, uh, multiple ways through which uh, you know, one can uh, help us. I'll tell you about the few of the initiative uh, we started. Uh, so we have an initiative called Close to My Heart. This is not of the page, but of uh, Madhya Pradesh Tiger Foundation Society. But it targeted towards all kind of, you know, forest staff. So every year, uh, about uh, four to six, uh, or maybe sometime more also, forest guards sacrifice their life on the line of duty uh, in Madhya Pradesh. And uh, 11th of September is Forest Mitre's Day. And on the Forest Mitre's Day, we uh, facilitate, uh, you know, their family. Uh, we 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 honor them, uh, who have, whose you know brother or husband or son has lost his life uh, working for the forest department. So this close to my heart campaign of Madhya Pradesh Tiger Foundation Society. Anybody can give us a donation of three hundred rupees through our souvenir shop and online also. And uh, the we we also give them a lapel pin. So whenever you wear a lapel pin on your coat or shirt or you know top, the animal remain close to your heart because normally you wear that lapel pin on your left side. And that you know three three hundred rupees uh, in the one year proceeding, the money goes to the the family of the forest martyrs. Almost similar like the army jhanda rivers or flag day that you know campaign. So that is there. So so the people those who are watching. They can go to the, the web page of uh, NP Tiger Foundation Society and they can contribute online also in this campaign. And you will also get a, a certificate along with the lapel pin. And uh, the staff will get uh, that you know support from you. That is one. The second uh, biggest support I feel is lacking is the appreciation. It may be sounding, so when two of us are talking, you are appreciating the power. But it never gets communicated to, to my forest guard. Because, you know, it's a complex situation, but this is the... So whenever uh, you visit any park, page in this right. case, whenever uh, you see the jungle is very neat and clean, there is no litter. You know, whenever the jungles and the animals are in good health, you, you post good number of photographs. But uh, I request uh, you can tag our, we have social media presence on Twitter, Facebook, and Insta all. Right. And I'll share right. their link. So you kindly tag us and appreciate us. That appreciation right. matters a lot to right. everyone. Absolutely. But my father's last one will say that in the world, every day we have a core area or buffer area where roughly 100 people enter. And roughly 500 people enter on a daily basis. Uh, okay. So... So this is one thing. Then all of you uh, residing in this big city, working from some organization, all these organizations have very structured setup of, you know, supporting CSR. Supporting Whenever CSR. I interact with the, uh, their CSR, 
yesterday also i was talking to one of my friend yatin he is from pune only he worked for a tractor company uh, called uh, john deere so, oh. so 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 uh, i was i was telling him that what is the csr mandate of your company so he said ki no no our company don't into wildlife i personally want to be in wildlife but we want to support villager this is our mandate because our okay, you know tractor right. segment is there fair enough right. so i have 107 villages i have 70000 villagers with those who are seeking support from you absolutely so you have to you have to widen uh, uh, your you know thinking process that in wildlife right. area we need support only for the staff or for the animal ki humko sirf pond khodna aur hand pump nahi karna hai hame communities ke liye jobs lani hai hame communities ke liye bahut sari civic amenities deni hai toilets dena hai you know bahut sari cheeze unko training dena hai livelihood ka skill ka support karna hai so aapki company aur maximum company community ke sath kaam karna chahti hai if right. you are contributing to the swachh bharat mission make 20 toilet in one of these villages that will save the conflict because log jab right. nature call ke liye right. bahar jate hain that you know this is the conflict aap correct uh, you know ek water tank kharid ke dete hain to logo ko pani wo store kar sakte hain odd hours mein they don't need to go outside so whatever your right. organization is doing trying to mold them towards the forest and during the pandemic time we all realized forest are precious i mean kisi yes. ko pehle se nahi malum tha to 20 or 21 mein pata chal gaya so some right. of the csr must come to so i'm not asking you to change the mandate of your company i am just requesting you to change the location right 90% because i was talking to another uh, you know people they said ki all our plants are in uh, southern part of india so we want to do right. our csr here keep on doing there right. just just do 5% in the wildlife area if right. not that page the wildlife area of southern india also correct so correct. this is my request and uh, any support is welcome uh, yes. through the anti tiger foundation society which is our you know uh, donation uh, mechanism and uh, yes. we'll accept any one more thing i would like to you know here emphasize during uh, even i was uh, seeing uh, your presentation before this the support right. during the covid yes. <laughs> so my staff that time i was posted at head office at bhopal wildlife headquarters so my staff is stayed inside the forest normally they keep them for about a week only yes. so 20 by 1921 when the lockdown started nobody has idea that this will going to last this long but soon right. we realized my staff also uh, sending request to our uh, then pccs mr rajesh kumar was there rajesh shivastha was hmm. there so he also hmm. provided 1 lakh 1 lakh rupee but we have a huge number of staff 1 lakh rupee was non sufficient so on 12th of uh april we started a campaign and the wildlife lovers and this country is a full with generous people and in 20 days we could manage to get ration support worth 72.5 lakhs so during the wow. pandemic time it, it okay. is huge i guess some of my donors must be in this talk also because this right. also good part spend so but during that time we realized there are people who has donated 15 lakhs rupees and there are people who has donated 50 rupees and to me the one who has donated 50 rupees is none less it is more precious a student who has a pocket money of 100 rupees if giving a donation of 50 rupees is more precious for me if a millionaire giving 10 lakhs rupees okay so so we'll accept all donations uh with you know great gratitude and humbleness uh so uh, and the the requirements are very diverse for the community for the staff for the wildlife so that's a perfectly all done right uh yes we have jungle bells also as you rightly mentioned that in the presentation we've included that uh if you support uh the people who take care of the forest uh that's how you will help in conservation so even if you can't directly do something on field but those people who are striving to you know uh protect the forest and working for it i think we should be doing something for them so uh, we conduct a lot of drives etc yes so uh i don't see any more questions in the chat box and um, i would request sanjay deshpande uh he's been a mentor in jungle bells and he's guided us throughout so i would like him namaskar 
नमस्कार रजनी दादा गुड टू सी यू एंड इट्स अ वंडरफुल वंडरफुल प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड से दादा आई वोट कॉल इट एज अ प्रेजेंटेशन आई विल कॉल इट एज अ दिल से शेयरिंग दैट इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड ऑल जंगल बेल्स एंड एम पी फॉरेस्ट मैं कहने के लिए महाराष्ट्र का हूँ लेकिन जान बस्ती है एमपी में सो सो एक्चुअली कई बार महाराष्ट्र फॉरेस्ट के दोस्त लोगों ने मुझे छेड़ा भी है अरे यार तू महाराष्ट्र नो के एमपी में ज्यादा दिन बताता है मुझे बोला यार क्या करू लोग वहां के जंगल और वहां के लोग ही ऐसे रियली थैंकफुल रजी दादा कुड़े एंड हेमांगी एंड जंगल बेल्स एंड ऑल लिस्नर्स माइन एंड रजी दादाज एंड एम पी फॉरेस्ट दोस्ती नेगी साहब थे तब से है एम पी से जुड़े हुए है एंड इंडीड फॉरेस्ट एज गिवन एस वेरी वंडरफुल टाइम ऑल ऑफ एस अब एंड देन इट्स मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट इट्स बिकॉज ऑफ पीपल लाइक रजनी सर एंड ऑल देयर टीम एंड एवरीथिंग एंड एज ही राइटली सेड कि हम लोगों का काम बनता है कि एंड uh, रूट तक अप्रिसिएशन जाना चाहिए क्योंकि दो अच्छी बातें उन लोगों से करना उनके बारे में करना उनको तक तो पहुंचाना हौसला बढ़ाना सरीका है एंड जो लोग जंगल में जाते नहीं है उनको एक गार्ड का लाइफ कितना टफ है ये समझना इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट यहाँ बैठ के सिटी में एंड इट्स द शेयरिंग जो आपने आज दिया उससे पता चलता है आम आदमी को कि कितना तकलीफ वाला काम होता है और लोगों को सिर्फ वर्दी दिखती है और सरकारी नौकरी दिखती है लेकिन उसके पीछे क्या पापड़ बेलने पड़ते हैं वो यहाँ बैठ के लोगों को नहीं समझता तो आई एम आई एम रियली थैंकफुल फॉर सच काइंड ऑफ शेयरिंग और जितना दिल से आपने बात किया है इसलिए शायद एमपी इज वर्थ फॉर इट्स टाइगर कैपिटल टैग के लिए मैं बोलता हूँ एंड आई एम रियली हैप्पी थैंकफुल ऑल्सो और ये अपना एसोसिएशन ऐसे जुड़ा रहेगा और जंगलों की तरफ बढ़ता रहेगा इतना ही मैं कहना चाहूंगा थैंक्स वंस अगेन वेरी मच थैंक यू संजय जी जैसा आपने कहा हम लोग का एसोसिएशन तो कितना पुराना ओवर डेकेड और इवन मोर और मैं बताऊं मेनी टाइम पीपल आस्क मी कि व्हाट यू लव मोस्ट अबाउट यू नो जंगल बींग इन जंगल और बींग इन वाइल्ड लाइफ एरिया and i always say it's not about watching a tiger or deer i normally don't use camera also so i don't photography now i used to do 20 years before when i was not that mature so uh, but the best part of being in jungle is uh, getting opportunity to meet best of the people across india or across globe so yadi main kahi bhi aur post hota to aap logo se bhi kabhi nahi mil pata or daily i get to know so much of good thing and uh, you know i am also very thankful to himangi ji मेरा उनसे पहले बात हुआ था जब ऐसे ही किसी सेशन में आलोक सर को आना था और ऑलमोस्ट ईयर बिफोर एंड टुडे आई एम हियर एंड होपफुली इन डेज टू कम मेनी मोर ऑफिसर्स फ्रॉम मध्य प्रदेश फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट बी पार्ट ऑफ दिस एंड मैं आप लोगों से एक और चीज कहना चाहूंगा वी आर ऑलवेज यू नो अवेलेबल टू इंटरक्ट विद टूरिस्ट तो जिस जगह से अभी मैं बात कर रहा हूँ ये टूरिया गेट पे हमारा एक छोटा सा इंटरक्शन रूम है और आप लोगों के थ्रू में सबसे कहना चाहूंगा आप कभी भी आते हैं मेरा फोन नंबर है या हमारा ऑफिशियल ईमेल आईडी है इफ यू कैन स्पेयर सम टाइम एंड कम टू दिस यू नो सेंटर वी आर ऑलवेज अवेलेबल इफ नॉट मी देन सम ऑफ माय स्टाफ हु कैन डिलीवर अ टॉक एंड यू नो ही कैन आंसर टू योर क्वेश्चन एंड आपको भी फर्स्ट हैंड एक्सपीरियंस मिलता है तो दैट इज ऑलवेज बेनिफिशियल एक्सप्लोर दैट पॉसिबल बिकॉज आप आए घूमे और चले गए you will never able to understand ki True. you know what is happening actually so so consider that also yes yes hemangi uh, yes. and rajit dada ek aur baat darkhwast mein karna chahunga ek aur cheez i was listening on conversation also ek aur cheez hum log kar sakte hai jaise isi पेंच की पेंच फॉरेस्ट से कोई एक छोटी टीम यदि आप पुना भेज सकते हो दो दिन के तीन दिन के लिए तो वी कैन अरेंज लाइव सेशन ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन इंटरेक्शन ओवर हियर तो ज्यादा लोग यहाँ uh, उनसे मुलाकात कर सकते हैं एंड वी विल सी दैट कि ऑल यू आर टू डू इट चूज यूर टीम एंड सेंड यहाँ का सारा सेटअप का इंतजाम हम लोग कर देंगे तो uh, उनको भी uh, यहाँ के लोगों से और यहाँ ज्यादा तादाद में मिल सकते हैं कि वॉट इज पेंच फॉरेस्ट We can arrange their slide show or a movie show over here, or your team's interaction here. Pe. So that all, uh, 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 as a Sanjuni and as my few friends who are interested in helping forest in any way, we will provide all setup over here and including their expenses also. Sir, so let's do this. 
we'll we'll discuss among ourselves i'll discuss this with definitely. the director and definitely, definitely. Uh, we'll come up with the idea and yeah. we'll do this sir yes. thank you thank you thank you Yes. Thank you, sir. It was very insightful, and I would also like to tell the audience on the Facebook also that this um, session link is available on YouTube later on. Uh, please forward it to a lot of people and create awareness. And those who could not join us today, so that's all. And I thank Rajni sir again. Thank you, sir, okay. coming. And I uh, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Okay, yeah. okay bye bye.